All right, everybody, as you can see, my crack has gotten a lot larger. It's all the way, it's a rainbow crack now. Anyway, guys, uh, the, the uh, there's been a lot of talk on YouTube about, you know, YouTubers like myself um, talking pricing, talking the pricing game, uh, recording at Goodwills and thrift stores, and that partially... Um, or possibly raising the prices at these certain stores. You know, sooner or later it gets back to the people that work at the Goodwill. Next thing you know, they're like, oh wow, they're getting the best of us here, let's raise the prices. Or it just adds to, you know, uh, to the overall competition. People start seeing you, which I totally believe that. Uh, I've had more than a handful of people already tell me, hey, is that the Goodwill over there off of, uh, this street you know so yeah I've had people uh, recognize uh, where I hunt at for sure um, now you know you know a Crosby is one of the people that uh, was first talking about this as far as changing his channel up because of it uh, and then other people SEL Sausington was talking about it and and others um, by the way a Crosby that that I don't even know the name of it because I didn't even watch it, but I did see that part. Obviously, I uploaded a video of it. That uh, Indiana Jones movie, I cannot believe that he thinks that that's something that could possibly happen, you know, during a, 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 an atom bomb is dropped on the city and he gets in a refrigerator and survives. Uh, I just don't get that. Anyway, back to the, the, the topic. Um, I don't know um, what I'm going to do for my channel. I don't know if I'm going to change it up or not. Um, have I seen a difference? You know, I watch and I, I'm, I'm cogniz cognizant of it. Trust me. You know, I'm not a, a blind person and, you know, uh, I'm not a black and white person. There's a lot of gray areas with me where... You know, I know that there's a middle ground for probably making some change. Um, you know, the one Goodwill that sells all their games for $5.99, that was pretty much doing that when I first started going there. So I know that's not because of me. Um, the one store particularly that I can say that I went to and then all of a sudden... I saw prices dramatically increase is the uh, there is one Goodwill that 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 I went to a lot I did a lot of recording there and then one day it was just like wow what are these people thinking that is in the back of my mind it's it's always been in the back of my mind um, the other Goodwills not so much I mean really my go-to Goodwills have pretty much been the same. I cannot say that they've raised their prices too much. I mean, listen, you know, when you're getting every, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but every once in a while you get a $30, $40 game for three bucks or four bucks. Can't really complain about that. That's, that's what I'm getting. Now I know the good old days, the old days where you'd walk in and find Panzers and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, man, maybe those days are gone. Um, how much I'm affecting that I'm not really sure but it's just something I'm gonna have to uh, to think on and um, make the uh, right decision on what's best for uh, my channel I guess anyway I can't believe he thinks that that's something that could actually happen you can get in a refrigerator blow up be thrown miles and miles you travel miles and miles in the air to a different location and land and just get out of the refrigerator and walk off.
All right, guys, you have no clue what place I'm going into right now. All you see is an empty parking spot. That's all I'm giving you guys. So let's go see what's inside of this store next to the empty parking spot. I'm not going to tell you where I got this from, but I am going to tell you that it is rather minty and that is one of the main reasons I picked it up because I almost passed on it, but it's so brand newish uh, and just freakishly fresh that um, I had to pick it up. And then I went, I got it for a couple of bucks, okay? But uh, Extreme 3 Extreme G Racing did some research on it. This is not a super expensive game by any means. So um, if it was not for the great reviews that I read on this game, I would not have picked it up. IGN gave it like an 8.5. So I love racing games, so I had to pick this one up. Uh, I'll definitely do an LP of, uh, you know, one, one LP of this just to show you guys what it looks like. And uh, yeah, so this is how we're getting the week started here. Uh, mystery shopping over here. Extreme G Racing X3. Yep, X3 Extreme G Racing. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Pickups like that. I mean, look how fresh to death this is. This is one of those blue discs. Look at that. Never been used. They took the cellophane off the game and it just sat there. Okay, it is about as mint as you're gonna get besides that sticker right there for $19.99, which I'll be removing. And that one right there for $1.99. But you don't know what store it is. That could be any sticker from any store. Peace out, guys. All right, so I'm getting my uh, windshield replaced, guys, through my uh, car insurance company, and it's only going to cost me $50. Uh, so he's here. I'm going to pull my car to the bottom of the parking garage over here and uh, get this baby replaced. There she is. That's mine. <laughs> All right, guys, see that right there? No crack in the windshield. This might be my best pickup of the week, okay? This right here might be my best pickup of the week. Even though it's invisible to you, I can feel it and I can reach out and touch it. Uh, it is a window into the future. It is clearly the best thing that I've picked up in quite some time. It has something in common with uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the NES game, the first fighter that you come up against. It also has something in common with Bruce Willis, that movie uh, Unstoppable, the evil villain in that movie. That's the name of it. All 
Uh, these stickers right here, I'm not gonna remove those with Goo Gone. I'm gonna leave it as is, okay? We do have some tape that I'm gonna have to remove over here and over there, so I am gonna have to clean that up. Um, what else? Um, I'm not gonna t talk about pricing of this pickup, guys, because I do not want the, 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 the company the insurance company to raise rates on me if this happens to me again, okay? So I'm gonna keep that on the D low, all right? Simple and plain. All right, so uh, guys, I this video right here is going to be uh, a great video. So I'm glad you guys decided to watch this video. I'm not gonna drop any hints this week on what I picked up because I haven't even picked up anything this week. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Anyhow, oh, no, wait. Actually, I did pick up one thing. I picked up a game yesterday. But anyway, we're at Monday, so we got a whole week ahead of us to pick up fantastic items uh, to blow your mind with the type of pickups that I am going to make this week. I have a good feeling about this week. It's been a little slow lately for me, and I got the feeling it's about to pick up. It's the new year, people are donating their crap from Christmas that they've had in their attics or in their basements or in their garages, uh, and they're donating it, donating it to Christmas because they got new stuff. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. All right, um, what else? <laughs> that crystal, crystal move, what's that move? That, that Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skulls movie? <laughs> and a Crosby. Oh man, I can't believe it. Well, anyway, we'll talk more about that also during the video. Um, all right, guys, uh, I have decided that the uh, the move, the uh, legendary move that I came up with, uh, I'm not gonna show it anymore. I'm gonna show it only once every 75 years, like the Haley's Comet. Uh, because it's way too impactful on people's lives and uh, I just don't want to be responsible for uh, any emotional damage that I might be causing to people. So, I'm going to show it to you one more time right now, guys. This is going to be the last time. And hopefully it doesn't crack my friggin' windshield or I'm going to be pissed. So, here it is. Get ready. Are you ready? Here it goes. Oh, and by the way, so unless you're 10 years old, you're probably never gonna see this again. Uh, if I live to be, what, 100 something years old? But uh, yeah, that's neither here nor there. So, here it goes, guys. The move. All right, you guys don't know where I'm at. This could be any donation center in the United States at any thrift shop. How much are the games? They're five. Okay. I'm gonna get this game. I'm also okay. gonna get that TI 83 plus calculator. Okay. Yes, sir. Got a nice pickup in here. Alright, um Thank you again to my uh, good uh, buddy A Crosby. Uh, six dollars on this. I actually have one of these up on eBay, the exact same calculator right now. It has not sold yet, but I'm sure it will. I might have to lower the price a little bit, but uh, as soon as I sell that one, I'll be throwing, throw, and unless something happens and I'm unable to sell it, which I don't think is going to be the case, then I'll throw this one up on there. It'll be my second uh, TI calculator. This is the TI 83 plus right there. It doesn't have batteries, so, uh, but having the slip cover, the battery back on there, everything's perfect. 
can easily make 40 bucks on that, I'm sure. All right, um, the game that I picked up, wow, I'm excited about this. I haven't looked to see how much it's worth, but this is incredible. Factory sealed, even though it is the greatest hits version, Dark Cloud, guys. Say what? So, yeah, man, that is a really cool pickup. Such a classic game to find that factory sealed. Uh, you just can't beat it. All right, guys. On to the next one. All right, this will throw off anybody. Oh, let me adjust that camera a little bit. I got to put my hand to block the store next to it. All you see is Donation Center. This will throw off anybody that's trying to hunt where I'm trying to hunt. This is Alibaba's Donation Thrift Center store type of place. And I'm going inside. Peace. All right, guys, I'm in a rush, so I'm on the move, so I don't have time to show you, but there is a story behind it. I picked up a very, very awesome pickup. A really, really cool console pickup for an unbelievable price. And uh, so the story is behind it, okay? Again, this week I'm going with the Covert. I'm going with the, not telling you guys where I got this stuff from. Just trying this out, kind of testing it out on the channel. When I first started the, the video, I didn't know if I was going to do this, but just give it a little test run this week. So anyway, I picked it up from, uh, you know, uh, Mystery Store A. Um, and so it was behind the, it was at the register. It was behind the glass. And it was one of those things that had a price on it that I must have, you know, I thought originally in my head that it was $1.99. Like I was certain it was $1.99. It turned out to be $19.99. And I was like, what the hell is this still doing here? Okay, I must have just walked up at the moment they put it out. That's the only way, because something like this flies off the shelves quicker than anything that you can imagine. Um, so I, so anyway, I told the lady, I, I, I got kind of some poor recording of it. I'm going to show you uh, right after this, but because uh, they were all, I don't know, I think those, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to say they like me, but whatever. They were just all up on me. It was just hard to get elbow room. But anyway, um, so the lady told me, one of the ladies, she's real nice, uh, very good attitude, very personable, uh, always like seeing her. Uh, actually, two of them are very nice. But one of the ladies said, and I didn't know who she was talking about. She was talking about the person who donated it or a customer at first, but she was like, yeah, um, you know, so-and-so took it and plugged it in. The only problem with it is it doesn't shut off. And, uh, I was like, whoa, whoa who, the, the, the don't donator, the, the person who donated it. And she's like, no, 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 a customer to wanted to test it out took it to the back of the store and plugged it in and came back and said that he was unable to turn it off so he didn't want it so someone did find it before I did and ended up thinking that and I don't think there is but I'm guessing thought that there was a problem with the power on it okay it's missing the well you can use an HDMI cable on it uh, it does have the power cable um, so she said so I said well and, and, and she was nice enough to say, you know, listen, I don't want you to buy anything that you can't return. That's why I'm being honest with you about it. And I was like, well, I've, I really appreciate that. Is there any way you can plug it in? You probably got a plug behind the register there. And she's like, yeah. So she plugs it in and immediately the LED light in the front of it come, turns to red, which is normal. And then it goes to green by itself, which I think is fairly normal. And, uh, so I start pressing on, which I think is a button, power button, but I have no clue because I've never had this version of this console. So, um, and then she says, see, she said, look, it's not shutting off. So she starts pressing on it and she's like, it's not shutting off. So that's the problem with it. Now, again, I've, I've never had this console before, so I didn't know, but I just thought to myself, hey, you know, let me check the back of it. Maybe there's a switch on the back of it. Some, some of them have rocker switches on the back of them. 
So I go uh, towards the back of it, and sure enough, there's a on-off switch back there. So I said, look, the on-off switch is right here. That's probably the eject button. So I shut it off. It shuts off. Turned it back on. It turns on. So she's like, oh, he got confused and thought it was bad. And I'm like, thank God. He got duped. He thought the console was bad, so he gave it back to her. This probably was minutes before I walked into the store. Um, I didn't get that much from her, but I think it was because let me tell you, this console is not staying out on that floor. It's not staying behind the register, behind glass. It's flying out of that freaking store in a heartbeat. When I when I was up there, now I was smart enough because when I was up there at the glass, okay, there was four or five other people that were coming in over there that were coming in up to me right four or five other people that were coming up to me and they were see how this guy walks over here this homeless guy walks over here and starts cleaning their friggin window without even asking i don't play that shit i'll jump out of the car and friggin knock that motherfucker out i don't like that shit at all like my fucking windshield is brand new right now it's not even supposed to get wet they said don't even get it wet if you would have fucking did that see i don't like that about homeless people let me tell you don't touch my fucking car unless i ask you to fucking touch my car so that pisses me off seeing him do that to another car all right anyway sorry uh excuse my language anyway where the hell was that i don't even remember now so um so yeah there was four or five people already behind me eyeballing it i mean it, there was like a you know i could feel it was burning through you know my shoulder people looking over my shoulder i knew i had to react and had to react quick i was not finishing the store there's more stuff i wanted to look at i said hey sweetheart I'm buying this, okay? I'm just letting you know right now, I'm not leaving the store, but I'm buying this. And she said, okay. She said, no problem, we got you. So she she didn't even leave it behind the glass. She said, if you're buying it, that's why my recording wasn't too great in there. I recorded a little bit when they when I when I actually pulled it off of the floor. So she hides it behind the uh behind the glass uh box, but on the floor. Um uh, not glass box, but where the register's at, the glass area. She hides it behind there. And, uh, of course, some guy starts a conversation with me. What was that? What was the price? They're, man, I'm having conversations with like three or four people within the next five minutes. I can't even leave that area to go to the back to look for games. So I end up going behind the register and notice that she didn't hide it very good. It's right there. Anybody could have grabbed it. But still, they would have had to have purchased it, and they, they had my back. So I wasn't too worried about that. I even left and went to the back of the store to look for games. But I ended up pulling this the system up, putting it on the counter and getting a little bit of recording, which I will show you guys. But uh, yeah, phenomenal pickup. As long as this thing works, I got something really, uh, really awesome here, guys. So that's the story. I'm sticking to it. And uh, I will be showing you guys the pickup as soon as we stop. Jesus, can I please stop? All right, guys. That's it. Peace. I did find out off camera that this is not the backwards compatible version, so that part pisses me off, but still an awesome pickup for $19.99. I got me a PS3 here. Now, hopefully this baby works. This is the big boy. Let me see if I can tape everywhere. Jesus Christ. I'm going to use packing tape on a friggin' console. It's the stupidest thing ever. That is crap. That's crap out of here. So there you go. There's the price. $19.99. Um, now this is the... We'll talk more in detail about it later, but just want to go over real quick. Um, it looks like it's in really, it's in decent shape. It's just tape all over it. 
Um, so the last three digits of the uh, model number on this are, are uh, G01. Now, I thought it was the backwards compatible because it looks very similar. Uh, on the backwards compatible one, which I believe is A01, this part flips up and there's like a SD card input and some other uh, ports inside of there. And the A01 has four USB ports there. Uh, the G01 has two. So backwards compatible, this flips up and you got four uh, uh, SUBs. SUBs, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, USBs. Um, so this is the G01. I, I want to say this is, I'm not sure, but I think this is the 40 gigabyte. Uh, the G01. Uh, the A01, and uh, I think that one's 60, I'm not sure. Uh, and if the website that I was looking at is correct, also the E01 is backwards compatible. Um, so the big thing with this, guys, is, you know, uh, Obviously, I can use HDMI, so that's no big deal. Um, and I have backup uh, PlayStation uh, uh, AV cable, so that's no big deal either. Uh, the power cable is there. Um, I'm going to have to clean this baby up. But the big thing with this is, does it work? If it works, and it's an absolutely incredible pickup. Um, I have a PS3 that's only about a year old. It's a PS3 uh, Slim. And I hardly even use it, so it's like minty fresh. So I'll sell one of them uh, if this works. And this right here, I can get between 100 and 150 fairly easily on eBay if I clean it up and it works. So uh, apparently the G01 model is notorious for laser disc failure, which sucks for me. Uh, but hopefully that's not the case with this one. All right, guys, that's that. Peace. Oh yeah, sorry about that guys, I did forget. It did not come with the wireless PS3 controller, so I'm assuming these are just PS2 controllers. But it did come with, again, with the freaking packing tape. Why don't they use blue painter's tape on this stuff? So I have to teach these thrift stores everything. Um, two dual shocked, uh, what is it? Six access, uh, yeah, two dual shock six access controllers in here, which seem like they're in really good shape. So there you have it. All right, guys, on to the next one. All right, we got 175. That's my uh, low so far. 175, regular unleaded. And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! There's this guy named Indiana Jones who was named after his dog, which is pretty understandable. I had a rat named Wyoming Smith once. And he's abducted by this woman who kind of looks like a Russian dominatrix. Not that I've been to many Russian dominatrixes, only four. And he's out to solve the mystery of the Crystal Skull. He's always figuring out religious mysteries. In the first one, it's Judaism. The second one is Hinduism. The third one is Christianity. And in this one, it's Alien. Which I guess would be Scientology. I was I'm almost a Scientologist once, except they said I was too down to earth for them. So Indiana Jones comes out and he's like a bajillion years old. How is it he keeps getting older? Don't you remember in the last movie, The Last Crusade? Or the second to last crusade? That guy was like, drink this cup and it will give you eternal life. And the wrong cup will suck the life from you. I think he took the wrong cup because something really sucked the life out of him. I mean it, he looks really bad. And the kid from Transformers is in it. He's kind of like James Dean, except he has no balls. I mean it, man. 
man, no balls. There's this scene where he's fighting with a sword and like a million things hit his balls. No reaction. If something hit my balls, I think I'd have a reaction. I'd be like, dude, that's my balls. And the woman from the first movie is in it. Except she's not like a bajillion years old. She's like uh, half a bajillion years old. And they are out to fight the aliens. What is it with Spielberg and aliens? Close Encounters, E.T., War of the Worlds, and now this. I think Steven Spielberg is an alien. What human being could possibly make the lost world? And the bad guys are kind of like Nazis, except they're Russian. They're Russian Nazis. I like to call them Rushies. So Indiana Jones is running from the Rushies, and he gets out his whip to whip them. Seriously, who carries around a whip? I mean, aside from Russian dominatrixes. And they get to the kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where they come across the aliens. And the Russian dominatrix is like, tell me all your secrets. And the alien is like, boo. And the pyramid turns into a giant flying saucer. There's a flying saucer in an Indiana Jones movie. It's about freaking time. And the aliens are like, hmm. And the woman is like, ah. And the saucer is like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I was like, you sure this isn't the kingdom of the crystal meth? Because when I'm on meth, this is the kind of stuff I see. And Jones is like, where did they go? And the other guy is like, the space between spaces. And I'm like, I think you're all on crystal meth. And at the end, they play the famous Indiana Jones song. Indiana Jones is here. He's been around for like a million years. But the best part of the movie is when the big rolling ball comes after him. Wait, no, that's not this movie. When he pulls the guy's heart out of his chest. Wait, no, that's not this one either. When he's fighting on the big tank. No, no, that's not it either. I don't remember much about this one. I just remember Indiana Jones, a Russian dominatrix, and aliens. I don't think I saw the movie. I think I must have gotten high instead. I mean, who would actually put all that stuff in a movie? So I guess my advice is watch Indiana Jones High and you'll get a movie about aliens. That should be on the poster. Indiana Jones, he got so high, he saw aliens. That's mostly what the Scientologists do anyway. This is Chester A. Bum saying, change, you got change. Oh, come on, help the guy out, will ya? Come on, change. Come on, I'm seeing aliens in an Indiana Jones movie. That can't be good for me. All right, guys, let's go in here next and see if we can find some games inside this center. All right, so I didn't find anything in that uh, thrift store, that mysterious thrift store. Uh, the only thing that was in there was, I didn't record because it just wasn't anything in there, but the only thing that I could find in there was... Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops on uh, one on the Wii, which is worth 16 complete and it is worth uh, 11 loose. I already have it, so I grabbed it. I think they were selling it for like three bucks, but it looked like it had major water damage to the label. The disc was minty fresh. I'm telling you, it was just flawless. But uh, since I already had it, you know, I was just, you know, it was basically a loose copy because the artwork was no good to me. Uh, so I got a complete copy that's in really good shape. So that's why I didn't pick that up. Oh, I just wanted, uh, I don't want SCL Saucington to get lost here. I know it got dark all of a sudden, as you can see. I don't want you to jump to any conclusions or think anything crazy now, okay? The sun did not get too hot and explode, or a nuclear warhead did not hit the sun and blow it up, okay? It just got dark. It's 6 o'clock. That's what happens. It gets dark, SEL, okay? You know, the sun goes down. And the moon goes up, and it gets dark. So I'm just letting you know. I don't want you to, to think anything crazy, any crazy ideas, all right? <laughs> I'm just messing with my boy. So I don't know if you guys watched him drink that uh, apple cider vinegar. That was gangster. Uh, I have a new nickname for my boy, Saucington, Hot Sauce. Because only a guy with a nickname Hot Sauce could do something like that. All right, guys, let's go into this place over here. I'm not going to let you see. Wait a second. Am I letting you see? Uh, it's a, oh, wait. Let's go into Palais Royal. Right here. Let's go into Palais Royal. Check this out. Even though I'm on South Park, 
works a spark. S.A. Foo, native, used to South Park. Born and brought up to be a heartless young brother. No one else to blame, blame it on my mother. When I was growing up, nobody seemed to give a damn. And that's what makes me face as hard as I am. Since I ain't give a damn, I ain't give a damn either. Sweet 16, time to stack me up some keys. Learn the game of hustling, messing over fiends. Selling people's feet and up the boots and vitamins. My game was more advanced, selling speed, I'm going broke. Got them up with 40, 40, 40, be some dope. Learn to rock it up. Now I got it sold, time to go for broke, damn who I owe, business started booming, started moving power, way to fuck the women, I want money and the power, yep, yeah. money and the power, money and the power, I ain't falling short, I got money and the power, yeah. Alright, so inside that family dollar there, I picked up these five more bubble wrap, um, manila folder, uh, Hell, you call these things bubble wrap mailers. That's it. Bubble wrap mailers. Five more of those because I'm selling shit like bean pies on Martin Luther King Boulevard, baby. Thank you again to A. Crosby for that great advice. A. Crosby, aka, because as soon as um, it was funny because I had my calculator price probably a little bit high. As soon as I lowered it $2. Put my phone down, I heard cha-ching, cash register sound, sold the TI-83 Plus. Now I can put my other TI-83 Plus up there. So thanks again, A. Crosby, a.k.a. Arizona Jones. All right, guys, no more pickups for today. I actually didn't find any games today, but that's all right. Oh, sorry, no, I found the ultimate game today. I forgot about that this morning. All right, so we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace! I see this bag over here when you get a chance. It's on the second shelf. It's in that basket. It's a Ziploc bag on top on the second shelf. Yeah, right here. Yep. All right, guys, check it out. This is the best I got right here. This is bouncing back from 167 to 170. 167 unleaded. Now it's 170. 167 right there. That's the low. All time low. All right, guys, so there you have it. There are the pickups. As you can see, the PlayStation 3 cleaned up real nice. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with too much more talk. I know I've done that enough on this video, and the video is running along as usual. So we're going to go through this real quick. Uh, we're going to do the first test like we always do when I pick up consoles. The first test together to see if this baby works. Now, let's go through the games first off, and um, I think I mispronounced this earlier. 
Uh, it's not XG3 Extreme Racing. It's Extreme G Racing Part 3. Okay. Uh, all I have to say about this game is uh, you're, you were either coming up, you were either an F0 guy or you were a, um, a wipeout guy. And uh, you were either one of those. And then a third title came along. Uh, Extreme G Racing, and it is supposed to be, it's, it's a clone of those games, but it does have, uh, I think, better combat in it, and uh, it's supposed to be a really good game, got uh, high ra ratings and uh, high reviews by uh, a lot of prestigious websites. Anyhow, moving on. All right, so uh, we've talked about that. That was what? $1.99, okay? $2.00. Bam, two dollars. Do I gotta put my freaking finger there? Yep, I do. Okay, dollar nine nine. Okay, now uh, six dollars for the TI. I did not put batteries in. I forgot to do it, but trust me, it works. TI eighty three plus. Uh, should I get into that story? No, I've told you I'm not gonna talk a lot. So bam, it's got the slip cover. It's got everything. I'll make forty something dollars on that. Now, uh, Dark Cloud. This was a big pickup for me. This is going for about $50. Not about. It is going for $50 plus online um, on eBay, Amazon, Half.com. Dark Cloud, Greatest Hits version, factory sealed. A tremendous pickup. I'm super excited about grabbing this one. Um, you guys saw my video where I got Dark Cloud 2. The funny thing about it is when I got Dark Cloud 2, I actually left Dark Cloud behind. Uh, did not grab that title uh, because of they were selling it for, I thought, a little bit too much. But got this for 5 bucks, It's worth about $50, guys. Okay. Now, uh, at the end of the video there, you guys saw me pick up. Now, I will tell a small story on this real quick. So, I walk in. I wasn't going to Goodwill shop tonight. I was gonna, I was gonna give you guys the Dark Cloud, the PS3, the Extreme G Racing, and the TI uh, um, 83 Plus, and that was gonna be it. Quality over quantity, I don't care. It's good enough for me as long as that PS3 works for sure. It's enough to do a video. Um, but I decided, let me just go out. So I decided to go to a Goodwill that I haven't been to for quite some time. Went to the Goodwill. Um, Went inside the door. I'm actually screwing up everything that I've started on this whole video, I'm realizing. Went into the T-Mobile store. I did not go into Goodwill. I retract that statement right now. Okay, so I walked into T-Mobile. The guy was at the... There was a guy at the register in line. He was buying a table, which makes no sense at T-Mobile. It was a T-Mobile table, okay? He had... Uh, a Super Nintendo boxed game sitting on top of that table. And I was like, mother bleeper. I was pissed. I was like, why could I not walk in the door like 20 minutes later and not see someone purchasing what I came to buy? This is These are the kind of things I dream about picking up. So anyway, I go to the uh, the shelving unit that's right by the guy in the table, right by the cashier, and it's a three sided, um, yeah, three sided uh, unit that that they keep CDs on, uh, DVDs, and video games when they have them. And immediately saw on the side that I was walking up to, uh, Kablooey Super Nintendo in box right there, guys. So I said to myself, oh my god, at least he left a Super Nintendo in box game for me. So it's still well worth the trip. So I that was like the only side. They usually, one of the sides is for video games. So that was the only game really on that side besides like a Guitar Hero. So I grabbed the game. I go to the other side of the shelving unit to look at the uh, jewel case CDs to see if there's any PS1 or Dreamcast titles. And then I hear, out of the blue, hey, there's another one of those. So he must have walked back from the register, saw that I had grabbed Kablooey, because he, 
he grabbed it right next to Kablooey, Kablooey apparently, and and so he knew it was missing and knew I grabbed it or either saw me grab it. Maybe I didn't know he was watching me. And he said, hey, there's another one. I'm like, excuse me? And he said, look me right in the eyes. He's like, hey, dude, here's another Super Nintendo game. And I told him, I said, well, you're not buying that? I thought you were buying it. I saw you at the register with it. And he said, no, no, I was just showing my girlfriend. It's pretty cool to see an inbox Super Nintendo game. But I wasn't buying it. I just grabbed it off there to look at it and joke with her real quick about it. And I was like, dude, thank you. So the next game was this, Tetris, the one he handed me. Uh, the boxes are not in any kind of minty, fresh shape or anything like that, but they're not terrible either. Uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario on the Super Nintendo, uh, another in-box Super Nintendo game. Just to let you know about my Super Nintendo box collection, I have, we'll just go up there real quick, I'm starting to talk again. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, Battletoads, Battle Maniacs, uh, SCL Sossinen gave me that sealed Stanley Cup, and then Firepower 2000 I found at a, uh, uh, Half Price Books, and that's it as far as sealed, uh, SNES games, so I was very excited about getting both of these, um, so if they're running late, I'm not gonna open them up, uh, looks like they pretty much have everything in there. I don't think that the Tetris Dr. Mario has the directions in there, though. But this looks like it's complete. And the um, the cardboard box is in there. Oh, you know, what the hell? Video is going to run probably an hour anyway. Who cares? Uh, so there's the box to that. Does have I hate these uh, silver stickers. Uh, the game's not in terrible shape. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It just needs to be cleaned up and to remove those stickers. And we should be uh, pretty good with that. So it doesn't look like there's directions with that one. Uh, I did get that for $6.99. A little bit more than I usually pay, but that's all right. Uh, the total for the two games was 9 bucks. So two in-box Super Nintendo games for 9 bucks. I am not complaining at all about that. And let me open this up. I'm about to run out of memory on my phone, so I got to... So here's Kablooey. It came with this. Uh, what is this? Kablooey. I don't know if that's Super Nintendo directions. I have no clue. Do not use projection television, game pack. Who the hell knows? Alright, then it came with this. It came with all kinds of stuff here. Kablooey response card. And then it came with turn into Bowser's worst nightmare. What the heck is this? Some kind of, okay, Super Nintendo pamphlet. Alright, so that's that. Let me show you the guys the cartridge. Kablooey, oh this one's in nice shape. Very nice condition. All right, so that's that. Um, what else here? What else did I not show you? Okay, so I made a mistake. I made a lot of mistakes in this video. I need to hurry up here. All right, so I thought these were PS2 controllers. They're not. I was looking at this USB cord thinking that it was an actual cord, uh, a corded controller, and it's not. It was a USB. Okay, so uh, these you can get from $15 to $20 on eBay. So literally eBay was paying, or Goodwill, or T-Mobile, or uh, the Crisis Center for Pregnancy, paid me back on these games right here, basically gave me these games, these controllers, paid me money, and then gave me this for free over here, PlayStation 3, the big boy over here that we talked about earlier in the car, let's go ahead and test this game out to end this video off here, okay, hold on, where's the remote? Okay, of course, TV shut off. That's just great. Okay, here we go. Turn that on. And let's see if this baby works. Now I got Catherine in there. By the way, I played two levels of this today. Great game so far. There you go. Let's shut the lights out. There you go, guys. Controller. Oh, yeah. Don't 
Dark Catherine. There it is guys, $20 PS3, fat boy. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, thanks for hanging in there with me, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.